Hey YouTube, so I actually have something that I think is pretty exciting today. I don't, I feel like I don't normally have exciting things, but anyways, Microsoft just literally came out, oh, literally, sorry. Microsoft just came out with a Microsoft Surface Laptop 4, and they're claiming that it's about 70% faster than their last generation laptop, which is a Microsoft Surface Laptop 3. So behind me, I actually have both laptops, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to run a benchmark on all those devices using a software called Cinebench. Um, it kind of renders an image and calculates how long that image takes to completely render. And then that tells you how, you know, your performance or the performance of your laptop. So I'm going to run that test on each of those devices to kind of find out exactly what are the stats according to the software, right? So it's actually, if you look over my shoulder, it's actually baking back there right now. All the software is already running because it takes about 30 minutes, I believe. I'm gonna to try to add a link to the software in the description in case somebody wants to download that and run it themselves. The key to the software, why I chose it, is that it also works on Macs. And so I actually have a surprise back there and I'm gonna turn around and show you guys right now. So what we have here, is a Microsoft Surface Laptop or Surface Book 3, which came out last year, all right? And we've got the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3, 13 inch. We've got the Apple MacBook Pro M1. So this is the new one that started making with their own M1 chips. And I believe that's the same chip that's coming out in the new iPad. So that's exciting. And then over here, we've got the Microsoft Surface Laptop 4. And this is supposed to be the crazy fast one. So I've got the MacBook here as a comparison so we can kind of uh, look at it and say, okay, so that's fast, the Surface Laptop 4, but is it faster than an M1 MacBook Pro? So just in case somebody out there is trying to decide, do you go with the Surface? Do you go with the Apple MacBook? We're going to be able to kind of get some information on that. So it's rendering right now, or they're all rendering the same image. I kind of try to push start at the same time so um, we could kind of see which one finishes. So what I also tried or decided to do is also run this user benchmark, um, which is a slightly different tool from that center bench. And you can see it's still running here. Um, that is not available on the Mac, so I was not able to do it on that. But I've also run it on the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3. Uh, well, that's the three, but I've run it on the Surface Laptop 4 and as well on the Surface Book 3. So we'll see what the results look like on those two devices. So it's getting super late. It's like 2 a.m. and I'm crazy tired, but I've just, complete, I've just completed the tests on these devices. And I'm kind of surprised at the results. Um, one thing didn't surprise me, but... I am surprised at second place. First place, I get it. Second place is kind of surprising to me. So we're gonna break it down. I also have all the results following this video right here. I got screenshots of the different captures. And um, for Cinebench, it looks like it favors one over the other. And if you're, if you're watching this and you understand these stats a whole lot better than I do, please make a comment in the in the comment section below and just let me know where I'm wrong here. But I'm gonna go by the numbers from Cinebench and we're just gonna break that down. So depending on how many points you got and that's how I'm gonna rate um, fourth to first place. Okay, so in fourth position, I'm gonna flip this around. In fourth position is the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3, okay? It scored, you probably can't see this, but this scored um, 1,141 points. All right, and then in third place is gonna be, believe it or not, the Microsoft Surface Laptop 4, all right? I actually ran this test twice, and each time it scored 2,379, and the second time, 2,353. So basically more or less the same thing. So that's 2,379, versus the 1,141 for the Surface Laptop 3, okay? So in second place is gonna be 
the Microsoft Surface Book 3 from last year, and that scored 3,262 points. Pretty impressive. And then, of course, for first place, we've got the MacBook Pro with their M1 processor. And this was in seventh place overall and with 7,651 points. That's pretty fantastic. I, uh, I have to say, I kind of knew that that would win. You know, I'm not surprised by the results on the, on the Apple. But I was surprised by the Microsoft Surface Book 4. I expected that or Surface Laptop 4. I expected that to perform a little bit better, especially compared to last year's processor or in the Surface Book 3. So, um, like I said, if you have a different opinion or you know how to look at these figures a little bit better than I do, just comment in the section below and let me know what you think about that or what your analysis is. Now, when I look at the other stats for um, um, the other software that I use, which is User Benchmark, it looks like it favors the Microsoft Surface Laptop 4 over the Microsoft Surface Book 3. So uh, help me out. Uh, look at that and uh, let me know what you decide. Anyways, I'm going to go to sleep because I'm crazy tired. I'm not even making sense anymore. Until then. Okay, so fourth place, here we go. So we've got the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3, and that is 1,141 point score on the Cinebench um, benchmark here. That, it's to be expected, right? It's running last year's processor, an i7, and that leads it down to position number 12 on this list here of the devices that were tested. So kind of, to be expected. I uh, wasn't really expecting a lot and that's why Microsoft can say it's 70 percent faster than their previous um, laptop when they're talking about the Surface Laptop 4. So that's where they get those numbers. The next thing is uh, the user benchmark and you can see that process is rated at 37.7 percent. Again that's about right um, for what we're dealing with here. And then moving on we've got third place and we've got the Surface Laptop 4. I, I almost thought that it would be higher, but it's not. And it's uh, sitting at that position with 2,379 points. And it's got the new 11th generation Intel Core. So that's why it's better than the Surface Laptop 3. All right. That still nets it to position 12 in this list of devices that we have here of high performers. But not a bad showing at all. So... Um, 70% that they have out there seems accurate compared to their previous model anyway, but it still ranks it pretty low on this list of devices. So not the ultimate laptop and it, just in general and definitely not on this list either. So we're going to move on to the next one, which is going to be position number, well, sorry, the user benchmark, as a matter of fact. That user benchmark has it at 74.9%. It's 11th gen processor, so definitely a good processor, and you can see by those numbers right there. Okay, so we're going to move on now to position number three, or second place, sorry, and then that second place has the Surface Book 3, and then that Surface Book, I was amazed. You know, I thought it was going to not perform so well. It's still running that Intel Core i7, which is the same processor that's on the Surface Laptop 3, but it performs a whole lot better here. This is, you know, the Surface Book is supposed to be more graphic intensive, so maybe that's where a lot of this scoring came from, where it scores a little bit higher. So pretty impressed about that. And if we move on to the user benchmark, we can see the process is scored at 42%. So that's pretty close to the Surface Laptop 3, as a matter of fact. But uh, I think what's giving it a, a leg up is the fact that it's got a good or dedicated graphics processing unit. So that's, uh, that's that. First place, no surprises here, is going to be the right. MacBook so Pro. So we've got the MacBook with, Pro uh, here with 7,633 7, points. points. 
that is pretty that's pretty fantastic uh, amazing the, and uh, if with, you look down with all here, its graphic intensity it or seven dedicated and graphics, actually ran the surface test twice still only and had uh, whenever you run it depending on what's going points. on it kind of gives this you is the first iteration each of this time, m1 you processor see it's not too i think far the, apart. like i said earlier the macbook the or the ipad is going to come up with the same processor that puts it down to number seven on this list i ran the test twice it's a little bit That's different, it's as winner. to be expected. And then, okay, um, so what we see in summary just here summary, is that the right? Microsoft Surface, the Microsoft Laptop, Surface Laptop, Laptop 3 1141 points, points, and that comes in, in fourth, fourth place. The Microsoft Surface, Surface Laptop, Laptop 4 has 2379 points in third position, in third place, followed Microsoft by the Surface Book, book with 3,262 points, which is not pretty a bad amazing for last year's, last year's processor, and that M2 comes in second. second. And then and the Apple MacBook Apple Pro, MacBook with Pro, 7,633 points. That is absolutely fantastic. Points. Anybody that's that out there, fantastic. you know, they, they need a machine that runs just good, blows everything else well, outside, is going to be able to do what they want to do off the computers that I think that's pretty amazing for what you're going to get on that. And that brings us to the end.